What's going on everyone? Welcome to Project Review. This segment is kind of like code review, but I'm really just reviewing the end result of the project rather than the code itself. So three of my fans were brave enough to send in their stuff for Project Review, so I'm going to look at each of them and then run them, and then I'm going to give them a grade. So we have three projects today. The first is the Monty Hall Problem Simulator. Second is going to be a Rubik's Cube Timer, which I'm going to try out myself. And then finally a Tamagotchi simulator. So first is the Monty Hall problem simulator. And if you don't know what that is, it's a probability problem where the scenario is there's three doors and behind two of the doors is a goat and behind one of the doors is a car. And the contestant basically gets to pick one of the doors. So say the contestant picks door number one. What the host will do is the host will, you know, he knows which one has the goat, which one has the car. So he will open one of the doors that has the goat. And then he will ask the contestant, would you like to change your door? And the right answer is you should always change it because that gives you a 66% chance of winning. If you keep the existing door, you only have a 33% chance of winning. I won't go into the full math here. You can look it up online. But what the simulator does is it, it runs that scenario over and over again 100,000 times. So I'll now run this. Python 3, Monty Hall, and you'll see that wins 66% and the loss 33%, and that's the percentages that I would have expected them to be, and it should be that every time I run it. Yeah, no matter how many times I run it, it's still, that's, that's the percentages. I love the Monty Hall problem, so this is an automatic A plus for me. This project was submitted by Marmite Geek. Next is the Pi Cube Timer, so let me get this running, so Python 3 pi cube timer and here it is sweet so this program is pretty simple it has a start and stop button but you don't have to use your mouse you can use the keyboard so like i click the keyboard and it starts running and i click the keyboard to stop it now the guy that made this uh shreyas he his best is 14.96 seconds so if you stop the clock before that it says hey you just beat the developer's best time so now i will try it out so i'll mix up my cube a little bit Let's get that ready, and I will begin. All right. Let's see. Pressure's on. Done. Ooh, 49.12 seconds. Not too bad for not cubing in quite a while. So I like this timer. It's very fast, it's very precise, and it's simple. It's good, I like it. And I got it done in less than 50 seconds, so this one is an automatic A plus for me. And the last one is Tamagotchi, which is sent in by Philip. So let me get this running here. Python 3. Time of that pi. So we got this little it's a little UI here. Somewhere in the background, there's the name that I gotta fill out, but I can't actually see that box. So I'll do Brian. There it goes. Brian, these are the rules. Don't let Brian's needs fall to zero. It will die. <laughs> it's great. Okay. And then, so now what you do is you press start and then you got to click feed and play and heal as, as all the numbers go down. So I'll start that. So you can see like the bar is going down. Oh no, he's ill. So I gotta like heal him real quick, you know, and then he'll get bored. You know, he's bored, so I gotta play with him and then feed him. But there's also the cases where you can't feed him if he's sick, so you gotta heal him first. And it looks like you can click like the soccer ball for a boost or, or something like that if you had the right amount of money. Oh yeah. I'm basically the Tamagotchi pro here. Anyway, this was really cool. I really like this thing, and it's uh, it's definitely an A plus for me. 
And that's it for project review. A lot of great submissions. Uh, keep them coming. Send them in to code review at engineerman.org and maybe you'll see yours on the next video. See you later.